Well, here's my Obi, 2009. Engine's prepped, getting ready to pull it out to put my V6 in it. This is going to be fun. And there's the V6, all nestled away. Kind of repowder coated the top. Red's going to look cool with the orange in here. And poor old girl. 206,000 miles. I'd say this motor's a little tired. Um, this has been good. Christmas last year saw 91 pounds of new sheet metal. I just finished up some more underside work, cleaning everything up. We should be good to go here. Next shot on this tape will probably be the new engine in. Bye. Well, I guess I lied. Looks like I got some intermediate shots here. Engine's all bay's been stripped, even replacing the brake lines. And you'll notice I'm also uh, changing out the master cylinder for a power brake booster from a 76. Cleaned up everything, move a radiator forward, got it all cut out. We'll see how all this goes. Got kind of an interesting comparison. Looking at the V6 here. Here's the V6. Compare the original four cylinder. How's that look for size and shape? Amazingly how close to similar shape and size they are. Let me get this shot. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The engine all there is about the same location. When you look at the length of the engine and the plates, it's amazing how similar this is. I'm really, really stunned. Look at the transmission locations. Engine back plates are very similar. And you come in and look at the tail cone locations. Even the shifters are almost in the same spot. I'm really amazed at how much fun this is going to be to put in. It says shorten drive shaft. Yeah, it looks like i got to shorten it an inch or two at the most. Can't. Okay, all painted. Two primers, two sealers, two colors, two clears. Time to start putting in the brakes. I went ahead and cut out and modified the hole. You can see the rubber gasket already in place. I just cut from a sheet, seal it up nice. Rack's been cleaned, it's been cut for the radiator already. Got it cut out for the light model. Went ahead and painted the brackets, same car color. What the hell? Instead of having the black up front, fair will look better without. Had to touch up the silver, scratched it up a little bit, that's why the plastic's still there. Okay, got the brakes in. Brake master, rerouted the lines somewhat the way the 73s are routed. I didn't bother trying to get fancy and do them any other way. I just duplicated it and did what made sense. Fronts rotate down, follow the normal routes just like the old 73 did. Rear brake line goes up and over. Routed a little different, got a little fancy underneath. But didn't bother getting too much. Yeah. Pretty tight, pretty clean job, I think. And across. Yep. Still got to clean up underneath, though. Haven't done the wheel wells. No worry about those later. Okay, going a little nuts on the wiring here. You can see I'm ripping out the box. I'm going to completely rewire it, put relays in, do all the fancy stuff that so many people have done in the past. Rewire it, put relays on the headlights, fuses, circuit breakers, for everything you can think of. Separate breakers or circuits for the... Okay, going to go nuts on the wiring here. You can see I've already gutted the harness. Going to route the undercar harness instead of coming up the firewall. I'm going to come up underneath of the fender well inside the wheel arch. Got that all tubed and ducted out. I've already gutted all the wiring for the front. Everything's going to route underneath the car. Won't be any wires in the bay. Looks like 12 to 15 some fuses for the fuel injection system. 
AC will be wired in. I've got two speed electric fans to use. All that wire will be pre-configured. Yes, I'm actually going to still stay with the old-fashioned Lucas bullets. So it's j today's job is to build my circuit breaker box, fuse box, relays, put them in the extra cubbies. You can see the original fuse block used to be. I cut a hole in the wall. I'll mount the fuses inset on homemade panels. Well, it's finally in V6 1992 Camaro 3.1 liter T5 tranny. Tight fit. You talk about a slip fit multiple times having to install and uninstall the engine mounts on the frame just to get it to clear because I installed it with the manifolds, exhaust manifolds already in place. That AC compressor actually clears the bonnet. The throttle body with the top plate that's already been modified misses the bonnet center cross brace but it's about a half inch too tall to clear and close correctly. Three quarters of an inch give me some leeway. So I'll either tilt the whole throttle body down with an adapter that would make it clear and or I'll switch to the 93 split V uh, intake manifold which I do happen to have sitting on the shelf. Too bad I really like that red intake manifold.